I know if it wasn't Conor on the card, uh, UFC wouldn't be here and it wouldn't be sold out. That's that's just a fact, you know what I mean? But um, it's like Conor opened the door and then, as I said it to Dana White when I was over there, that um, Irish people don't invade countries, we infest them, <laughs> all right? And this is how we do it, okay? We started off with the UFC, we got Gunny and we disguised him as an Icelandic guy, but he's really Irish. We snuck him in, then Conor went in and they let everybody know in the town that we're not to be fucked with. And then me, Ash, Cottle, Neil all slipped into society and now we're just regular UFC folk. So that's how it does, we infest, we don't invade. And what are the people telling you, that, you know, your friends and teammates, just about the buzz of that all you guys, this, this infestation or this invasion of you guys coming in? It's really the culmination of all that on Saturday. Oh yeah, big time. Um, I know that the friends that I have, um, we have friends maybe 20 years, I'm 26, and I have some friends that are 23 years, and I have a nice little close-knit, and we, they've been here from the start, which is the crazy thing. So they've seen it as well, so they've kind of shocked the levels that we, we've raised up and, and gone through the ranks, and then the skills prize as well. I remember when I was doing my first kind of, I think it was foundation class, I turned to the guy next to me, and he's, he's still a good friend of mine, he's a proper belt jiu-jitsu now as well, and I said to him, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. And I said that to him, and he still remember, and he remembers. We were only talking about it yesterday. Wow. And um, I, I'm like that, you know. I mean, I've, I've an addictive personality. It could have been anything, to be honest. And I'm just lucky that I found this. Patrick, is it true you haven't fought in two years? Um, no, well, I fought in the Ultimate Fire, so when, whether that counts. And then if you come by SBG, I'm fucking hanging in there every <laughs> fucking day, man. It's full of beasts. So you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. But before tough. Um, um, you fought in July 2012, is that correct? Yeah, I fought Artem Stenkov, then, yeah. so that, that, that some leg lock kind of guy, and it was just tough fight, and I, that was the Grand Prix tournament, right. which I won, and I had a knockout before that as well. So um, I, I had a back injury, I slipped the disc, and on the Ultima Fire, uh, I didn't know how severe it was, I thought it was just, I was trying to roll out a slip disc, <laughs> so, um, you know what I mean? Uh, but I still get in there and I still fought and I, I felt I didn't portray myself but like and then Josh Hill was a lot bigger than me then and then even when we seen him against Michael Wooten he nearly done the same thing again until Michael Wooten caught him with a flying knee but I just missed him with that flying knee and I was looking I was like free play to you Michael my man and um, it, it, 125 now is different you know what I mean when when it comes to Saturday night when we're looking at this guy this guy is different now He's different. How so? Well, I've I started yoga. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing some yoga now and things like that, and I feel that's at the kind of pulling all the muscles in the right direction when one might be going one way and stabilizing me out a little bit, and then my uh, my training programs have been based on getting my core moving and things like that, and I just I just feel so much different. I feel great. That's that's I sometimes I do say to people I feel guilty for feeling this good. I really feel that good. Like I feel amazing. Does it help that you and your fellow SPG teammates are all kind of peaking at the same time almost and going in the same fight card? Well, if you plant a seed more than likely, they're all going to fruit at the same time. And some will be ahead of others, and, but the time frame won't be crazy, you know what I mean? Like, we could be sitting there six weeks' time, like... Look, imagine us sitting down at dinner in six weeks' time and when Ashley gets back and, you know what I mean, and it's me and it's Cottle and it's Connor and it's, like, you know what I mean, it's mad. When you, we have been grinding at this for a long, long time. I've put my time in, so I'm confident in that. Um, I, I read something in the Law of Attraction yesterday and it was brilliant. It said, judge your success on what you had to give up to get it. I think that's brilliant, you know what I mean? And when I look back, I'm like, man, I... I literally was I was told this like that you shouldn't really fight now but like that's just the way it's gonna be, you know what I mean? With my back and like I remember when I when I slipped my disc and things like that being on my sit room floor nearly crying, like it's it's the worst pain in the world you can get when it's like it's on sciatic and I don't think people understand when people have back trouble and they're like, Oh, you're just pulling out of a fight, that's what I hear or you see that on forums now and they'd be saying to people like like people just don't understand what that pain is like when it's nerve pain and things like that. It's like having a toothache in your hip. Sure. Do you know what I mean? You just can't get it ill. And it feels like you can just, and there's nothing for it, you know what I mean? And, and I don't believe in like taking painkillers or anything like that, so I, like, I'm not into that, you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't like kind of tricking my body or in a way. I just feel, even if I'm not in pain, I'm like, that's weird. And I get paranoid about that, so I just, I dodge that and also, that was, that was a tough, tough road, man, that was painful. So um, I feel that, that made me stronger as well. 
usually in um, other UFC cards, if you're fighting on the first, if you're the first fight of the night, the arenas aren't as full as, as the main event. But Saturday night, it looks like everyone's going to be in the arena from the very first fight. So is that something that you're looking forward to, fighting in front of a full, full house? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm delighted. I, I said to somebody upstairs as well, um, I, I wouldn't mind the joining from both sides, you know what I mean? Like everyone else, they're, getting, they're going out and they're, they're going to enjoy a good night in Dublin. To me, I'm going to work that night. Do you know what I mean? But I really would love to have two hooligans and I jump over the fence and go, go on, you mad little fucker. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? I, I know what it's like and I, I, I can see it from both sides. I can see um, I'm looking into the cage and I'm looking out of the cage. You know what I mean? I know what it's like. You know what I mean? But I actually get more nervous when, like, say, maybe maybe Ashley will be fighting or somebody else will be sitting there and be sweating and things like my palms and all that. That like that like the horse bet where it's just about to come in, palm sweats, dry mouth, that kind of feeling. Um, and but when I'm fighting myself, I have control. You know what I mean? I I I I, I can hit the guy. When that guy hits me, I I get that reaction out of that and I get that thing out of it and. That is it, and, and the crowd will be behind me. There's no doubt. In like in the ultimate fire, I remember there was kind of one moment in that fight where his like I was on there on my own. I was there was no one there with me. But then, as I'm saying, we go back to you know, the the infesting. Mm-hmm. When I went over, I, I sussed out the ultimate fire, and I was like, oh boy, this is how it works. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes down. And then I fed the information on then to Chris and Carl, and then and then Ash, and it looks like we're just. <laughs> invading or infesting not invading when you turn up a, it's one of our comedians that does a skit, a skit on this and it's brilliant and he says um, yeah when you turn up with machine guns and all people start getting a little bit what's going on here but when you turn up um, with a sleep bag and a phone number that's it that's all you need <laughs> did you attend the event here UFC 93 yeah I did I did and, and that was crazy that night as well I remember standing down trying to get closer or something like that and they seen Michael Bisbee and I was like there's Michael Bisbee it's weird like and and like, not that like it's I still have loads of respect for them, all them guys that are like legends of the sport. You know what I mean? And but it's just crazy now. You know what I mean? It's it's not bad for a little guy from a council estate in Pala, isn't it? No? <laughs> What's it like? Yeah, that's what it's about. Sorry, continue. Go go ahead. What's it like? You know, in terms of that, like you have us shoving microphones in your face here, but when you are walking around Tala and you've little kids coming up to you and stuff and saying you know you're me here or whatever I was watching one of your videos and you said that what does that mean to you? That's mad that's amazing uh, to give somebody a direction is 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 the ultimate gift you can give somebody do you know what I mean to, for somebody like I remember looking up to like and people are like uh, like Robbie Keane for example you know what I mean like Robbie Keane doesn't live too far from my house this guy is worth like 44 million now he lives in thing he comes home he drinks in the local he plays football with the kids in the field and even when I was like I would have been a kid at the time but probably a teenager and like, I'm looking at this and it's crazy and then like you have guys like um, like the Highlands from my way as well Paulie and Paddy Highland and all these guys and, and they would have been other people that I'm looking up to and um, Paddy I think Paddy's fighting in New York soon uh, and I'll be watching that as well look and to, 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 I know that you, you, you can be somebody you know what I mean you can be anybody if, if you believe and if you fail will you try you didn't fail, you know what I mean? You cannot fail. I'll fail if I went to 40 and I was like, oh, I could have done this and then, ah, oh, but then I'll haunt me back and then I'm like, I'm saying to me, I'm like, come here and I'll tell you a story and he's like, I don't even want to hear it, Dad. You know what I mean? You're like, no, 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 one day I could have been. You know what I mean? Uh, that's not me, you know what I mean? And I'll, I'll keep going. And I'll just, I'll keep, I'll keep fighting and I'll keep going for this and I'll keep trying to inspire other people and because that's what makes me happy. And at the moment before, like, even before the UFC contract coming in, I was true, I'm truly happy, you know what I mean? I'm not rich, I'm people rich as I say but, but I'm truly happy you know what I mean I, ha- I have my son and he's very healthy and, and, he, and he's smart and he's clever and like you know what I mean he, and, and he's my second hope as well <laughs> he's my second roller in the dice you know what I mean? no but um, in all fairness I, I'm truly happy and I, I wake up every morning and I'm happy with what I have I don't I don't have a big mansion I don't have a big car and I think I drive, I drive with Toyota events and maybe after this I'll put him into stud you know what I mean into a good scrapyard somewhere it's a good one he got me here but um, you know what I mean I'm happy and I was, as I was saying, I want to be 70, I want to be turning up on Saturday morning and doing jiu-jitsu. You know what I mean? I want to be telling all the kids with or a smell of Guinness on me saying, you know what I mean? Like, come here and I'll show you this move I learned back in. Oh, that's all you want to do because that makes me happy. And whatever you want to do, you should chase it if that's what makes you happy. But don't chase something that, like, I see some people and I literally kind of, it hurts me to see people in a job and they just hate it, literally hate it. And then you say, yeah, but I get this much for it. And you're like, but that's nothing. Like, like, I think I got my PDM. I got PDM yesterday, and it was a 200 euro note in it. 
200 euro note, right? I went to change it, and you know what he said to me? You have to spend 70% of that in this shop. So it's not a check. You can't even spend money when you have it now. <laughs> so I mean, it's a, this is cash money, and he's still, and all I was trying to buy was coconut oil. <laughs> so. Do you recall at UFC 93 telling yourself that one day I want to be fighting in this arena yeah. in front of these people? Definitely, yeah, man. I remember saying that. I remember, because when we were on our way, I was driving up towards the arena there the other day, and one of the guys, you had to bring your ticket, which it wasn't print-off tickets, and it definitely wasn't sold out like this time. But when you're going to the road, he lost his ticket, <laughs> and he had no ticket to go the next day. So <laughs> that was pretty funny. And I remember sitting there in the stands and saying, like, uh, seeing Tom coming out, and like, even even then what happened, Tom came out and he, he didn't show fear, and, and, and then he fought Hathaway as well. You know what I mean? And how it all evolves as it goes on is is mad, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Like Hathaway is a, is an amazing athlete. You know what I mean? And then as Tom went out there and he fought him, you know what I mean? And he lost, but. I was still behind him and he still inspired me. He, he still, I remember seeing him in the gym like, <gasps> that's Tom Egan, like, and you, you'd probably get to spar him once or twice and he'd bait the head of you a little bit, you know what I mean? And he'd be like, yes. That's just the way it is, you know? It was great. And you mentioned uh, before the direction and obviously looking up to Tom for uh, the UFC, you know, who, who gave you your direction? What was the catalyst for you? Um, well, I was raised by my mother, I, just my mother and my sister, and um, I always wanted to excel, and, you know, when I seen other people doing bad and other people falling off it's different directions, I knew that, like, you know what I mean, I, I want to be somebody, I want to grow up, and then the light went on when uh, I found out I was going to have a kid, so I knew I wanted to do something for him, you know what I mean, I wanted to be somebody, and then like, I hadn't got somebody growing up in that, that direction, so I knew all the things that would be cool to give to a kid. And now I say, as I was saying, but I think it's only me and Neil. Like, your kids can go to school and say, my dad killed your dad. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Like, your kids are the only kids in Ireland that can say, my dad's a UFC fighter, ever. Ever. Not like in a ha Like, that's. We, we belong to five people. There's a handful of people now. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, it just goes to show that hard work does pay off. You know what I mean? But, like, I want to put a score on the scoreboard now on Saturday night. You know what I mean? And everyone else is happy and they're, oh, you, well, you've done well no matter what. No, no. To me, I want to get in there and win, and that's it. And like, um, I don't have the same kind of personality as Connor, where Connor can tell you I'm going to hit you with my left hole and you're going to drop dead, and he's probably right. You know that. Put your money on that. But um, I go in and I fight, and I'm dangerous everywhere. I really am dangerous everywhere. I have to be dangerous everywhere. Cause, like as I'm saying, when we got planted in the pots together in SPG, you know what I mean? We got planted around a lot of dangerous plants. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to get sharp together. You know what I mean? So that's what. what that's what inspired me, man. This is a this is a unique card because there's a lot of interest. Yet in the United States, it's only a it's a fight pass show. Yeah. Um, and there's there's a ton of interest because of Connor and Gunner and whatnot. And maybe a lot of American fans don't know about you. Maybe they know you from the Ultimate Fighter, but that was a brief cameo. But you know, I hope you take this oh, of course with respect. But you you know when I think of an Irish fighter, this is it right here. The, your accent, the way you look at it. I feel like a lot of fans might be drawn to you, right? especially now seeing your personality. Do you feel like you you can have the same success that Connor had? Because people are obviously drawn to him in, in America. People are are taken by his uh, by his personality. Do you feel like you can have that same kind of impact? Um, yeah, we do. But um, I think I think it's what you want as well. You know what I mean? Um, like Connor's a black belt at this. You know what I mean? He's a he's a media black belt now. He's so good. You know what I mean? At this and um, I just. Whatever you, you you'll just see me in front of the camera. This is this is who I am, and uh, like I've been in America a lot of times, and they I, I get on well with them. I come across well with American people, I think, and then maybe someday I could be on the front of the Lucky Charms box. <laughs> <laughs> the dream, wouldn't it? Yeah, Lucky Charms are amazing. I have a box actually waiting. I do. They're getting it on Sunday. Yeah, so I think in in America. Um, as a, I, I just, I just adapt. You know what I mean. Just as I'm saying, I'm Irish. You know what I mean. You'll find us all over the world, everywhere. You'll find us in Ghana, in a pub somewhere. You know what I mean. And, you know what I mean. Just put me in America. Put me somewhere, and then I'll just, I'll adapt to that situation. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks.